Oh, look at that low light level. You guys are in for one hell of a treat today. Hello and welcome back to another Excel Destiny video. Today we're going to be doing something special. Like I said in the intro that you guys are in for a little treat, it's to do with a certain loadout in Destiny. Now I'm not talking about current loadouts, no, I'm talking about a year one loadout. This is going to bring back some nostalgic feels for you guys. You guys ready for this? Bam, there we go. If you guys played in year one, you will recognize this loadout. This is the coveted loadout. This is what would get you through any PvE activity in the game. We have the Gear 1 Fatebringer with Arkburn. Then we have the Black Hammer. And then we have the Galahorn. Now, something that I really wanted to ask in this video and get your guys' uh, stories from it is if you played in Year 1 and you got a Year 1 G Horn, let me know the story behind it in the comment section below. Mine, I got it when Crota's End was the current thing during the Dark Below. During one of the Crota's End raids, it dropped at the end, and someone was like, Oh, you got a Galahorn. And I was like, no, no way. And then, when we got back to orbit, sure enough, there it was. It dropped on my screen, and I was going crazy. But if you guys have any stories like that about any of these weapons, definitely put them in the comments section below. So, we're going to go over some of the perks on these weapons, and have a look at how they differ from Year 3 weapons. And then we're going to jump into some gameplay with these weapons and see if they still hold up back in Year 1 content. So, Fatebringer, the big thing you're going to notice is that it's a Legendary with a Burn. Now, yes, in Year 3 they brought back Fatebringer, there's a Legendary version and an Exotic version. The Exotic version is the exact same as this, except it's at 400 light. And the Legendary version is the exact same, but at 400 and without Arc Burn. So this was amazing because it was a primary burn weapon that was a legendary and we're running a sure shot Firefly and what you'll notice about these year one weapons if you didn't play in year one is that they have these upgrade nodes This is how you got to 170 attack is by using these upgrade nodes and to do that you'd have to use like the same glimmer weapon parts and you'd have to use the planetary materials and ascendant shards so it took a little bit to get up. Ascendant shards were things that dropped from dismantling legendary gear, but the one hard thing was that getting planetary materials, you couldn't just go and buy them. You had to go down to the planet and farm them yourself. So it took hours to upgrade these weapons. Anyway, I'm using Field Scout. A lot of people like to use explosive rounds on the Fatebringer, but it messes with Firefly, so I don't like to use it because I love Firefly. And then we've also got Outlaw, which mixes with Firefly as well, giving us that reload speed. Then we've got a bunch more upgrade damage nodes, and we've got the Oracle Disruptor, which is only used in Vault of Glass. Moving on over to Black Hammer, we have the choice between Ambush, the Taxus SLS-15, and Hawkeye. So I like to use Ambush. If you guys know me, I'm an Ambush short gaze kind of guy, so this is perfect for me. This has a Year 3 version as well known as the Black Spindle, which actually came out in Year 2 in the Taken King as a hidden exotic reward from doing a mission. I do have a video on how to get that, I'll put that in the link below if you guys want to check out how to get Black Spindle, but it also drops from the Year 3 Crota's End raid now, and on the Black Spindle you cannot change the scope, you've got muzzle perks instead of the scopes which is something that happens when things are exotic. Yes, the Black Spindle is exotic, and this is a legendary. Moving on, we have the White Nail perk, which rapidly landing three precision shots will refill the magazine from your reserves. We're going to talk a little bit about that later on in the video while we're playing. We've got, again, that upgrade damage node. Then we got Snapshot, Flared Wear, Mac, blah, 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 blah. I can't even speak, Flared Magwell. Perfect Balance, Mulligan, We've got upgrade damage nodes, and we've got hive disruptor, which is increased damage to hive mages. So this was a drop from Crota's End back in the day. And then, yes, of course, finally here we have the G-Horn, the coveted weapon of year one. The thing that Xur sold in week two and no one bought because everyone thought rockets were bad. But we're using soft launch, tracking, got that upgrade node. Then we're using speed reload, because in PvE, don't really care about this kind of stuff. You just care about getting more shots out. 
and then we have the wolf pack rounds which were nerfed which is a bit sad so rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation and then we just have those upgrade damage nodes again so like i said we're going to jump into some gameplay with some year one content so i thought what better way to do this than to go into the year one the first strike you'll ever play in destiny the devil's lair so we're going to do this on level eight and see how we go with these weapons so we actually found someone uh that's a bit weird level 40 luke mac 92 you are playing oh we got someone else too panda taco okay i didn't actually think we'd find anyone but we did so here we go this is the fate bringer that i have out right now we're going to see how it performs in this year one content and with these guys here we should be able to power through a little looks like this guy might be trying to help this other guy level up to level 40 because he is level 27 so let's see how this goes look at that power just look at that it's so good and here we have black hammer with the ambush look at that just like three tap to captain because of the arc burn it's just so good these dregs stand no chance. Look at that reload speed. Even a one tap to the body. It's just too good. Kind of want to use the black hammer a little. I keep going to call it the black spindle. It's just one shotting everything. It's, it's too good. Here we go with Captain again. Look at that. Two shots for the shield and then just bam. Straight down. You can't get much better. Look at that, look at the range on it too. Okay, we're getting some heavy here. Let's check out this reload speed. It's pretty good. Oh, that was a, we just whiffed the Galahorn shot. Look at that, we still did some damage on it though. One shot from there. Oh, it's just too good. It really is. It's something special. Oh, oh look who it is, okay. And dead with the G-Horn. <laughs> too easy now I said we were going to talk about the white nail perk on the black hammer so I was waiting for this part of the strike to do that because this is where it really shines but not as well as it used to so I'm going to give you a demonstration of the white nail perk if you haven't seen it before so here we have a devil walker I'm going to aim in and we're just going to pick the crit spot which is the legs once he turns around there we go so just bam bam and bam there we go the precision mag bonus which is white nail you see our mag reloaded but it pulled from our reserve so it went from 12 to 9 in the reserve now back in the day when we used to do this and get the bonus it wouldn't pull from the reserve it would just pull straight from the good old like nowhere it would pull from absolutely nowhere and now we're out see we run out of ammo before that would never happen you're just constantly shooting like no ammo restrictions it was just coming out of thin air basically it was so broken but it was so good at the same time until the bungo gods came in and nerfed the godly weapon into the ground but we also have this G horn which the wolf pack rounds were nerfed on it as well they used to do like triple that damage it was just so broken here we go bam and dead something else I think we might do here is check out the golden gun so we will whip on this celestial night hawk pop the goldie and bam that did a considerable amount of damage come on look at that health on it just kill it now there we go got him he is dead okay let's move on to sepix do you guys really want to step out of there and I'll take that heavy please we'll reload the j-horn and let's get ready to show off the year one loadout in Sepix Prime, not perfected. And here we go, Sepix old pal is out. Gonna hit him with a couple G horns to start off with. Look at that damage already. So 
see what 6G horns will do. This guy's just laying into him with the bloody auto. And bam! Look at the damage. And then we'll hit him with a Celestial. Look at the damage that we've done already. Just gonna teleport. Yep, back in the middle. And the white, this is where White Nail just shines. Look at that, he's dead already. It's too good. Is that an exotic? Oh, you gotta be joking. Well done. Is it a special? Oh. It's a body. What a way to end off. That just goes to show how good this loadout is. Goodbye, Sepix. Like, Jesus. Okay, so here we are at the end of the video, and I wanted to just go and decrypt this exotic engram that we got when we went and did the strike. So here we go. Approach. Master Raul. Rest in peace. We'll not be seeing you in Destiny 2. Grab our little glimmer reward here, and bam, what do we get? The Crest of Alpha Lupi, or Loopy, whatever you want to call it. Let's have a look at that roll. Uh, full intellect. Yep, that's just a discard right there. Let's dismantle that. And see ya. So now that that's done, we are at the end of the video. And I just wanted to let you guys know that there will be more videos like this in the future where I show off some older loadouts or weapons, armor, stuff like that. But I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, a like and a favorite is really appreciated. And if you want to go that extra mile, you can hit that red subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to receive notifications every time that I upload a new video. But again, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see all you Guardians in the next video. Bye.